a lot of our victims aren't reporting the cases immediately. You have some of them that they raped a week ago or they indecently assaulted two months ago and they come and report the case today. We already lost half our case by them doing that because of the justice system and the certain guidelines that the magistrates have when they are listening to evidence, questions are asked like, why didn't you repeat it, report it immediately? The other thing is also is our magistrates, some of them are well trained. There are others that are not as well trained in, in dealing with sexual offence cases. When you listen to their judgments, um, they don't realise the things like um, rape trauma syndrome for argument's sake. They don't realise that it exists. They expect that a six-year-old child should act exactly the same as a 36-year-old lady to a similar, type of, a similar type of incident. And that's also another problem we sit with when it comes to convictions or even acquittals and things like that. A lot of guys get acquitted or they go, instead of getting, being convicted on rape, you, the guy would get convicted on attempted rape, which is a much lesser sentence because the interpretation of the law, each magistrate's interpretation of the law differs. Uh, when we talk about rape, we talk about the slightest penetration is necessary for to be raped, which means just past the labia majora would be sufficient. The hymen doesn't need, doesn't need to be broken. But a magi other magistrate, one magistrate would say, yes, that is rape. Another magistrate would say, no, that's attempted rape. And it's a big difference between a, a life sentence and a 10-year sentence.